How's it going everyone? Good morning, it's Bryce here with Suds Go Mobile Car Wash and Detailing. And as you guys know, I've been working on building out a second setup. I bought a 2013 Ford Transit Connect van, um, super low mileage, it's got like 47,000 miles. The interior was immaculate. Uh, the inside of the back was immaculate. It almost looks like this thing was used as like uh, for one of those floral shops for floral transportation. It was just, it was beautiful inside. So I had to buy it. Uh, anyways, I'm right in the middle of doing the build out. So for those of you who have watched my channel, you've seen my trailer, that wall that I made is a staple in my detailing business. It's how people know me around here. And so of course I'm doing the same thing in my van. So um, we've framed out the, the new wall here. And uh, I don't know if you guys have ever heard of beautiful mistakes. This little cutout here was a mistake that ended up turning out to be pretty dang cool. Um, I actually wanted to do a floor to ceiling wall. However, I realized as I did that, that my reels right here, some of these reels would not fit. If I closed my doors, uh, they would hit. So I had to pivot and what I ended up doing actually let me flip this camera around is building out an indention so there's probably about three and a half inches of space here now doing that i'm going to have my vacuum hose reel my electric reel and my air hose reel all across the top right here by kind of pushing this back wall in a little bit, I was then able to close my doors without any problem. It actually ended up being pretty dang cool because I think what I'm going to do is you see that little space right here in between? I'm gonna put some LED lights in here just for fun. You know, I'm not usually a huge fan of lights um, showing off equipment. I think that's a little too flashy for me, but because I got a spot, I just think that it'll look super super cool if I put some white LEDs behind that wall. So at night, it'll kind of light up those, those reels. I think that'll be pretty cool. I stuck with the 50 gallon water tank. <clears throat> so up here, I'm gonna completely close this off, you guys. I've already pre-cut these panels to fit like perfectly. They fit like a glove. Let me show you how this works real quick. <sighs> okay. So that one will go in like that. That one there will go in right there. And then I'm gonna FRP the whole entire front. I'm gonna FRP the lip, the sides, the top. And then I'm gonna run some black trimming that's gonna go all around the outside of this to just clean it up and make it look absolutely professional. So what I'm working on now is the template design for my uh, race deck tracking flooring so I've, i use this same stuff in my trailer in fact it's over here i'm gonna t basically transfer my outline onto my race deck and cut it out and then that will also fit perfectly snug right at the bottom so you know rather than messing up some cuts on the ex on the expensive uh, swiss tracks what i decided to do was go ahead and cut it out in cardboard first then I'll just pull the whole thing out and transfer it over to the Swiss tracks. Um, these pockets are gonna be completely covered up like you see here. The vacuum hose reel is gonna, the, the hose is gonna come and sweep out and I'm gonna cut a hole right here and it'll look super clean going back there. Down here, I'm actually gonna put my spotless water system. So you guys know I created a system called the Spotless Water Booster which helps uh, business owners to save a ton of money on deionized resin. Um, it does that by stripping out up to 98% of the total dissolved solids that's in our water. So that's gonna go across the bottom right here. I'm gonna put my RO filter there. I'll put my, fil my other uh, sediment, my carbon block, and then my DI filter right here. So it'll look super, super clean. The pressure washer reel, I'm still kind of thinking about that. I think it's just gonna go right here on the floor and my motor and my pump is gonna go right there, which runs the water system. So I am super stoked with how this is turning out. It's looking killer, you guys. Like it looks, it looks crazy. Like I cannot wait to get this all together. It's gonna look amazing. 
All right, showing you the back. Nothing crazy back here. You know, the the back barn doors is the showpiece, right? Like when I pull up to my customer's house and I open up those back doors, that's the part that I really want to be, uh, uh, look really elegant and nice and sexy. This back part, I'm not so concerned about. So we're gonna keep things kind of simple back here. I've got my shelf that I've built. This thing, guys, this is like a beam in a house. It's not going anywhere. So um, anyways, pretty stoked about this design and um, cannot wait to start using it. This stand already came with a partition, which was super awesome. And what I ended up doing is, um, again, there were bolt holes that this partition was screwed into. So I used all of the existing bolt holes to secure my flooring. So as you can see there, what I did is I just went to Ace Hardware and I bought some bolts that were a little bit longer to account for the three-fourths thickness of the plywood and I drilled it into the floor. So happy with this floor. This flooring is, is tight. I mean, it's not, it's not going anywhere. I've actually got this tank turned around, so this needs to flip around to the other side. Here's the inside. My wife got me some WeatherTech floor mats for Christmas. Thanks, babe. I love you. These are awesome. And check out the interior, guys. It's super, super clean. So I'm pretty happy with this little van. There's some storage up here. I'll probably put like microfiber pads and towels up here. There's the back wall of the partition. But uh, guys, in a nutshell, that's kind of what I'm working on today. So I am going to finish the flooring. I'm gonna install that. That's gonna lift it up probably about a quarter of an inch, which will then fill this gap that you see here. So once I prop this up on the flooring, that'll flush out. I'm going to take some screws, drill this into place so it's nice and and secure. Then I'm going to take a sheet of FRP and I'm going to use this as a mold and I'm going to cut out a sle an FRP sleeve to fit right over the front of that. So all you'll see is that nice white FRP from wall to wall, edge to edge. like a glove love it All right, we've got the FRP panel cut and this is looking fantastic. Now the next step you guys is to screw in the wood panel to the fascia here. And then once that's all secured into place, then we'll glue the FRP to the front. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and grab my rubber molding now and I'm gonna mold this out. All right, you guys, so the back is complete. So the wall's been built, the FRP has been put into place, the black molding, which I think turned out super awesome. Just clean this up really, really nice. 
fits FRP perfectly. In fact, it actually has a tooth on the inside, so it clamps onto the FRP as you wrap it around, which is kind of cool. So you don't have to adhesive or glue that trim piece. The floor is incredible. It looks awesome. Looks so good. And um, I cannot wait to start mounting my reels. I've got to wait for this adhesive to dry for at least 48 to 72 hours. Once the adhesive is dry, then I can start drilling all of my holes to start mounting my reels. I'm going to put my vacuum hose reel right here, electrical reel, and my air hose reel. Pressure washer reel goes down here, and my water system is going to go right there on the bottom. Look at that, guys. Man, that looks clean. So clean. I love it. And when I put in those LED lights right here, that's going to look killer gonna look super awesome kind of give it a nice glow left the top open as you can tell i didn't go all the way up to the top a couple of different reasons these boards that you buy at home Depot are only 48 inches wide so i would have had to have built up another layer and i'm just like ah you know what i'm not gonna do it and i'm glad that i did it this way because uh it just looks sharp it, i like the square edge at the bottom and i like the square edge up at the top so this will be nice because if I ever need to put any like uh, poles, because I wash a lot of RVs, I can string some poles up here. Um, just whatever I want. I could maybe even hang a net on the other side and just kind of put more stuff, maybe build another shelf. So one step at a time, but uh, check it out, guys. Shoot me a comment below. Tell me what you think. Tell me if you like it. Um, the complete video is coming. This is gonna go really fast now. This honestly, this was the hardest part. Now that this is done, it's all going to be plug and play. We're going to start mounting reels, running hoses, putting in water systems. This is going to go really, really quick. So happy with the progress today. I think it uh, turned out killer. All right, guys, hope you're having a great day and we'll see you on the next one.